power of the Spirit, and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. We pray for the church and the world, and we thank God for his goodness. We bring our prayers and the concerns of our hearts to the God who knows our needs and who loves and holds creation more tenderly than we can imagine. We pray in communion with all the saints on earth and heaven, with the martyrs and the faithful in all ages, and in the name of the Lamb who was slain. And so we pray for the church throughout the world. We pray for all those in church leadership, remembering Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Stephen, Archbishop of York, Sentamu, retired Archbishop, Lynn Webster, Bishop of Beverly, John Thompson, Bishop of Selby, Rachel Trewick, Bishop to Prisons, our Archdeacons, clergy, patron, laity, the local Christian communities and all the religious, remembering Pope Francis and the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew. May they be renewed and encouraged in their service. We pray for St. Luke's Church here in Clifford, Brahman Park Country Estate, All Saints Church in Caywood, Riva and Wistow. Caywood and Wistow Primary School had teachers, pupils, teachers and staff. May schools, colleges and universities know your presence with them as they seek to study in these difficult times. We pray for Christians across the world who are being ill-treated and persecuted and cannot worship openly with many being forced to practice their faith in secret and are fearful of being reported to the authorities by their own neighbours. May they know the living presence of the Lord with them day by day. During this time of social and physical distancing, give us the patience to cope with our own confinement. May the saints in heaven be an example for all Christians so that we may serve God in the way he wishes. Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. We pray for our world and its leaders. God of peace, we pray that those in authority may follow the example of the saints who worked for peace and love. <clears throat> Guide the leaders of all nations that justice may prevail throughout the world. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. May those who hunger and thirst today for righteousness or for physical food and drink be filled. We pray for the sovereign, Elizabeth, our queen, the prime minister, the government, MPs, local councillors, politicians and all diplomats. May they serve in righteousness and act with integrity. We give thanks for those who campaign for justice, fairness and equality. May all who work for peace and reconciliation find the strength and encouragement they need to keep going. Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. We pray for those who are unwell and the housebound. God of compassion, bring healing and hope to those who grieve, suffer pain, or have been affected in any way by COVID-19. May we all be aware of your compassion, which calms our troubled hearts and shelters our anxious souls. At this time, we remember Hilda Emmett, Irene Mark, Glennis Allen, Margaret Lee, Sarah Smales, Anita Coolin, John Townend, Bill Shaw, Ian McBride, Sue Jakeman, the COVID-19 sufferers, those who are anxious, lonely, fearful, afraid, and disconnected from community life. We pray for an end to the COVID-19 pandemic. May an effective vaccine be found. May those who suffer with their mental health be comforted by knowing that God is near them. We pray for NHS staff, carers and all chaplains. May all who work in healthcare find the strength they need to care with skill, efficiency and compassion. We pray for our family, friends and colleagues as we begin to adapt ourselves to the new normal. Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. We pray for the faithful departed. Remember those who have recently died, their families and friends, and those whose anniversary of death falls at this time. May all who mourn, especially for those whose grief is hidden from those around them, know the deep comfort and hope that only God can give. Remember the 45,000 COVID-19 deaths in the UK, the over 1 million COVID-19 global pandemic deaths worldwide. 
Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord of life, in your mercy hear us.